This is a story of power, ambition and murder. It is a story of a man who would not stop at anything to become king. It is a dark and bloody story and it starts on a wild Scottish heathland where three witches plot and spin their spells. When shall we do meet again? In thunder and lightning or in rain? When the hurly burly's done, when the battle's lost and won, that we ear the settled sun. Where the place? Upon the heath, there, there to meet Macbeth. Here he is now, Macbeth, a Scottish lord, not far from those witches over there. He is fighting against a combined force of invading Norwegians and Scottish rebels. The Norwegians and the rebels run! The battle is lost and won! The DGs and Scotlands! We must find King Duncan and bring him the good news! A drum, a drum, Macbeth doth come. Quick, we must finish the spell. Thrice to thigh. Thrice to mine. Thrice again makes up nine. The spell is done. Banquo, I've never seen such a day. So foul and so fair. Aye, it's strange, right? How far is it now to the king? What are you? They don't look human. Are you spirits? Speak, if you can. All hell, Macbeth, fane of Glamis. How do these weird creatures know my name? Or hail Macbeth, thane of Cal Cawdor. Cawdor? But Cawdor lives. How can I be thane of Cawdor? Can you see into the future? What else do you see? Hail Macbeth, one day you will be king. No, that cannot be. Get away from me! Macbeth, why so scared? Why be afraid of good news? Hail Banquo. Lesser than Macbeth, but greater. Not so happy, yet much happier. Your children will be king, but you shall never be. So hail Macbeth and Banquo. Wait, tell me how? How can I be Thane of Cawdor and king? That's just unbelievable. Impossible. Tell me, how? They're gone into the thin air. Macbeth and Banquo, here they are at King Duncan's camp. Outside his tent are three of his noblemen, Angus, Ross and Lennox. Aha! The great generals Macbeth and Banquo. Greetings, Lennox. You've come straight from battle and have news for the king. The king has already heard of the battle of Macbeth. And how brave he is. And he has told us to call you Thane of Cawdor. Cawdor? That's not possible. Cawdor lives. How can I be Thane of Cawdor? Cawdor joined the rebels and now he's sentenced to death. The witches, 
They said it's come true. Could the next step be the throne itself? Could I become king? Be careful. Sometimes the devil tries to tempt us with small truths to make us believe the bigger lie to come. They said I could be king. But can the crime come without any help from me? Look! Here comes King Duncan and the princess! Oh, my generals, with Beth and Banquo. Your, Your Majesty. Majesty. Is it true? The battle is won. The rebels and the Norwegians have fled. Victory! The king! So, my cousin, with Beth, how can I repay the debt I owe you after today? Serving you has its own reward, Your Highness. A noble banquo too? I am your servant too, King Duncan. Today's joy overwhelms me, but I have one last announcement to make. I have chosen Malcolm as my successor. He is now to be known as the Prince of Cumberland. Malcolm, now Duncan's heir. Prince Malcolm, if I'm going to be king, this could cause problems. We shall go now to your castle, Macbeth, to celebrate our friendship. I shall go ahead to Dunsany. My Lady Macbeth will be delighted at the good news of your coming. We shall follow! Macbeth is valiant and worthy. We are lucky to have him as our kinsman. But now, let's prepare for the journey to Dunsany. Dunsany Castle, Macbeth's castle, Lady Macbeth waits for him to return. She is holding a letter from him in her hands. My beloved wife, I believe these weird sisters really must have special powers. They told me I'd be Thane of Cawdor and it came true. They even said I'd be king. King, keep this secret, my partner of greatness. I will be with you soon. Macbeth, you want greatness, but are you ruthless enough to get it? You're ambitious, but I'll think you'll be too scared to do what's needed. So come home now so I can inspire you to take the crown. Great Thane of Glamis and Cawdor, your future starts now. King Duncan comes here tonight. When does he leave? Tomorrow. That must not happen. He must not live to see the morning sun. What do you mean? You must be friendly to our king when he arrives. Smile with him, look after him, but our guests must be taken care of tonight. Taken care of? Yes, oh Macbeth, your face is so easy to read. But at the banquet tonight, you must hide your feelings. Be friendly to our king. And after tonight, he'll sleep forever. But... Come now, let us prepare the feast. In the great hall of Dunsany Castle, all the lords and ladies, King Duncan as well, stand to celebrate their victory. Pray quiet for the king. A toast to our hosts, Lord and Lady Macbeth. Lord and Lady Macbeth. Your castle is so beautiful, my lady. The air is so sweet here. You honour us with your visit, Your Majesty. I hope we haven't troubled you. We're at your service, my lord. If I'm going to do it, then I'd better do it fast. I'm willing to admit. But Duncan trusts me. I should be protecting him, not killing him. There's only one reason to do it. My own ambition. And that is what can bring me down. When he's finished eating and goes to sleep, that's when you'll do it. No. We should go no further with this plan. Duncan has honoured me as Thane of Cawdor. Can we not just enjoy that? What are you saying? I'd like to wear the crown, but I don't dare take it. You're like the cat that wants the fish, but is too scared of getting its paws wet. And if we should fail? Have courage, and we shall not fail. Do it when Duncan is asleep, and the dead king will sleep forever. Is it settled then? Yes, it's settled. The banquet is over. Banquo and his son Fleance are taking a walk around the castle walls. What time is it, Fleance? After midnight, brother. Who's there? Someone's coming. You still up too? The king at least has gone to bed. He's gone to sleep in good spirits, thanks to hospitality. We did what we could. A real feast! I jumped off the witches last night. There was truth in what they said. Thane of Cordor. I haven't really thought about it, to be honest. 
We should talk though, Banquo. Whenever you like. Stay with me, and we could all share in the future. My loyalty is to the king, and never shall be. Now you must go to bed. Good night. And the same to you, my friend. Soon, everyone will be asleep. But me. And then... What's this? A dagger in the air with its handle turned towards my hand. Come, let me hold you. I can't touch it, but I can still see it. A dagger of my mind. I'm seeing things. It's time to do the deed. Lady Macbeth cannot sleep. She walks back and forth, thinking about her terrible plan. What is he doing? I left the daggers for him. He can't have missed them. My husband, have you? The deed is done. Look at my hands. It will wash off. Just after it was done, I heard a voice crying, sleep no more. And then it said, Macbeth has murdered sleep. You're imagining things. Go, wash your hands. I can't go back there. Give them to me. I'll wipe the face of the sleeping servants to make it look like they killed the king. Lady Macbeth goes back to the king's bedroom to leave the daggers, whilst Macbeth waits for her to return. Done. We look as if the servants committed the crime. And look, my hands are the same colour as yours. Someone's at the south gate. I wish the knocking would wake Duncan. The dead king sleeps forever. The king's body is quickly discovered. The lords Macduff, Banquo, Ross and Lennox jump out of their beds to raise the alarm. Banquo, we must find the king's son, Malcolm and Donoglin. Tell them the king is dead. Lennox, have you seen them? They're coming now! What's happening? What's going on? Your father's been murdered. No! Tell us the name of your assassin. From the look of it, his own servants did the deed. Their hands and faces were covered in blood, and their daggers were nearby. I'll face these lonely assassins now. Stay. The assassins are dead. I've killed them already. What? What's happened? The king, my lady, is dead. No. Malcolm, Donovan, listen to me. Your father lay dead. His murder is so close. Who could hold back? Help. Please. Lady Macbeth! She faints! I must look after my lady. Lennox, help me carry her to her room. We must be silent for now. You're right. This place isn't safe. Something's not right here, Banquo. There's a plot of trees and I'll fight it! So will I! So will we all! We'll dress and meet in the great hall. Me and my brother will join you shortly. I don't trust anyone here. It's not safe. We must go separately. I'll go to England. Only for me then, dear brother. We must leave while it's safe. There'll be no mercy here, only more murder. Fear no card, I am now crying king. It's so come chill. But did the witches make it happen? Or was it Macbeth himself? Backwell. Your Highness, my lady, welcome back to Dunsinane. A loyal friend. What news, Banquo? Malcolm and Donnelly in the field of the country. They're telling anyone who listened that they didn't kill their father. Well, they would say that, wouldn't they? That's not important. We'll deal with it tomorrow. In the meantime... Our feast. You'll join us, I know. I'm at your command, sir. At Banquo, are you hunting today? Yes, Your Highness. Will you be long? Good afternoon, Your Highness. Are you taking fleance with you? Of course, my lord. Good, good. All right, don't be long and don't be late. Now, please, your king has work to do. Until the feast tonight. Those men we spoke of, are they here? Yes, my lord. I led them through the back gate as you asked. Get them. They are here, my lord. Good, now, banquo. Banquo? Banquo? Yes, I want you to kill him. Kill him? Yes, today, while he's out hunting, all right? All, all right. right. His son, Fleance, must die too. 
I'll tell you what, we will cut you a deal. A special offer. Two for the price of one. Nobody, but nobody, must ever connect me to this. Our lips are sealed. As quiet as a grave. Snick, snack. Clickety clack. Good. Let's make the arrangement. Macbeth is crowned King of Scotland. It is his coronation day. In her bedroom, Lady Macbeth is having second thoughts. All I ever wanted was for him to be king. Now that he is, I wish it had never happened. Not this way. Are you ready, Michael? We should go down. What are you up to? Tell me. It's best you don't know. I can't go on like this. You won't have to. Soon it'll be night, and in the night anything is possible. What do you mean? Best you don't know. Out on the heath, Banquo and his son Fleance are hunting and returning to Dunsinay. Are we nearly home, father? Not far. I can see the lights of the castle. My lord Banquo, is it not? It is. Do you come from Dunsinay? We do. Looks like rain tonight. It's worse than rain for you. Run, please, there's a trap! He's finished. Quick! Get the boy! It's no use. He's too fast. He's gone. There's a feast for the king tonight. We'll have to tell him there. I'll spoil his party. I hope it doesn't spoil ours too. Come on. In the Great Hall of Dunsinay, Macbeth is having his feast on its coronation day. Who thought uh, this Macbeth uh, 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 would be king? All eyes for the king and queen. My lords and ladies, welcome. Tonight we shall forget the sad past and think only of the future. So eat, drink, and enjoy. My lord, yes, what is it? The two gentlemen, they have returned. What? We wish to speak with you over there by the oh, door. Yeah. It's been Tim. Uh, yes. I've Some urgent there. business I must attend to. I will return. Idiots, there's blood on your faces. Not mine. Or mine. It's Banquo's. Great. Better on you than in him. Is he dead? Snick snack. Clickety clack. Excellent. What about the boy, Fleance? Ah. Oh. Well, it was dark. The boy escaped. What? You let him go? Fools! Idiots! Never mind. At least Banquo's dead. Now, get out of here. Your, Your Majesty. Majesty. Our Royal Lord, what are you doing in the shadows there? Come, join us. We need our host. Of course, my lady. But there's no seats. Here, my good Lord. Where, Lennox? Which one of you have done this? <coughs> My lord, what's the matter? Get away from me. I didn't do it, it wasn't me! Gentlemen, rise, the king is not well. Please, everyone stay, this is just an illness. The king has suffered from it since he was a boy. What's wrong with you? Your man or what? Can't you see it? The devil himself would be scared. Oh yes, yeah, just like the dagger in the air you told me about. Look, it's just a stool. What? It's gone. It's never there. No. Right. Please, forgive me everyone. I'm not myself tonight. We shall have a toast. To absent friends. Yes. Why not? To Banquo! To Banquo! To Banquo! It's here again! Get back to your grave, you fiend! My lords, ladies, the king is not well. Please leave us now. Good night. You need sleep, my lord. Macduff wasn't here tonight. Did you notice? Macduff? What are you talking about? He's plotting, I'm sure. Tomorrow, I will go to the Weird Sisters. 
See what else is in store. This isn't over. I've stepped in so much blood. It's easier to spill more now than to go back. Come, let's get some sleep. On the wards of Dunsany Castle, the two noblemen, Ross and Lennox, have found a quiet spot so they cannot be overheard. These are strange times, Lennox. Strange times. Aye, first Duncan is killed. Then his sons run away. Because they were the murderers. So I said Macbeth. Then Banquo is killed. And then his son Fleance so runs away. Because Fleance was the murderer. So I said Macbeth. So says Macbeth. Shh, is that someone coming? Even up here we're not safe. And now Macduff has disappeared. Not disappeared. Gone to England. Why? They're raising an army with Malcolm to come here and save us from Macbeth. Does Macbeth know? Yes, and he's, he's plotting revenge on Macduff. God help Macduff. God help us all. By the pricking of my thumb, something wicked this way comes. Open lock to ever knock. What devil's work are you up to now, you midnight hags? A recipe without a name. I want to know more about the future. Answer me. Speak. Demand. We'll answer. First question. Tell me. No, no need, need to, to tell, tell us. We, we know your, your thoughts. Macbeth, Macbeth, Macbeth. Beware, Macduff. I knew it. Macduff is dangerous. Be bloody, be bold, be resolute. No man who has ever been born to a woman can harm you. Which means I'm safe. No human can ever harm me. Unless you will never be beaten in battle till Burnham Wood comes to Dunsinane. How can a wood get up and move? It can't, which means I'm safe. Another question. Banquo's children, shall they be kings? Your Highness. Don't be afraid, Lennox. Can you see them? Who, my lord? The weird sisters, of course. They're gone. They didn't answer my question. Are you not well, my lord? More than well, Lennox. Now, what news? Messengers, they say that Macduff is about to raise an army in England, my lord. Traitor! He'll pay for this. I'll take his castle, I'll kill his wife and his children. Come on, Lennox. Macduff's castle. Lady Macduff and her children await news of him from England. Ross, you're welcome. Dry out, spend some time with us. My lady, I wish I could stay. Do you bring news of my husband? I'm going to England to join him. Can I give him a message? Tell him not to take long. Well, he is doing what needs to be done. Goodbye for now. Goodbye. Where's your husband? You won't find him. He's a traitor. You're a traitor. You know what happens to traitors. Snick snack. Clickety clack. <laughs> Dunson and Castle. Lady Macbeth's servants are worried and have summoned a doctor to her room. This is where she walks, Doctor. Every night? Without fail. And you think she's asleep each time? I'm sure of it. But look, here she comes. Watch her, but stay out of sight. Her eyes are open, but they do not see. What is she doing now? Washing her hands. Out, damn spot. Out, I say. Who would have thought a man could have so much blood in him? We're hearing things we shouldn't be. Will these hands never be clean? Heaven knows what she really knows. The smell of blood is still there. This isn't an illness I can cure. I tell you. Banquo is dead and buried. He can't come out of his grave. So that's it? Banquo? We've heard too much already. There's nothing I can do for her. She needs a priest, not a doctor. God forgive us all. Good night, and you better forget what we just heard or we all are dead. Macduff and Malcolm are raising a great army to travel north to Dunsany Castle to fight Macbeth. Meanwhile, Angus and Lennox also are raising an army and travelling to Dunsinane. What news, Angus? The English army is near, led by Malcolm and Macduff. They've come for revenge. And we shall join them. Paul Macduff, he knows? Oh yes, he's vowed to kill Macbeth. You think Macbeth ordered the killing? I know it. Macbeth is mad. His murder stick to his hands. Onward to Burnham Wood. We'll meet our allies there. No more reports. I don't need them. 
that Vernon Wood can't come to Dunsany. Malcolm was born of a woman. I'm safe. Sir, the English army comes near. All right then, put on my armour. My lord, your wife. Who are you? The doctor, my lord. Your wife, sir. She is sick. What's the matter with her? She is... troubled. She'll be fine. Get me my sword. Hurry up. Let us go. My lord. I'm not scared of death till Barnum comes to Dunsany. I'm off, and no amount of money is going to bring me back to this terrible place. has come the army of Macduff and Malcolm unite with that of Angus and Lennox. Malcolm, Ross, my friends, Macduff. It is time for my wife and children to be avenged. And my father too. Macbeth and his men are in Dunstanane. We've laid siege to the castle. We have all the nobles with us. You there, what is your name? Seward, my lord. Are you ready for the fight, my lords? The evil tyrant must die, my lord Malcolm. Good man, now, what is this wood in front of us? It's called Burnham Wood, my lord. Now, Lennox, tell the troops to cut down the trees and hold the branches up. The enemy will never know how strong we are. Come, to battle! <laughs> ah! Tell my lady I'm about to leave for battle. Yes, my lord. Are the flags flying on my walls? Yes, my lord. No one can beat us. <coughs> What's that noise? Go and see. The queen, my lord, is dead. What? Dead? She should have lived till the battle ended. My lord. What is it? Spit it out. I... Don't know how to tell you. Just say it! As I stood to watch, the woods towards Berman were moving. Liar! It is true, sir. See, through the window. So, Barnum Wood comes to Dunsany, just like the weird sister said. The prophecy is true. No! Throw away your branches! Bring on the trumpet to war! Ah! I will fight forever! Ah!
everything the witches said came true. Did they cause events, or was Macbeth the master of his own fate? Macbeth is now dead, and Scotland is free again.